Hello guys, right, so I've got a model here that uh, I created for a poly modeling course, a sorry, poly painting course. Um, so what I've got, I wanna test out this new colorize feature inside of ZBrush 2020. So uh, I've just picked the pants here and to activate the new adjust colors feature of ZBrush 2020. Just need to come over to the right hand tab under poly paint, just need to hit the adjust colors and that will bring up a box like this. Now the navigation in this is exactly the same as ZBrush. But what is extra cool is we can change the colors on the fly. So I can go and put her into more of a brownie color. I could even go in and change some of the intensity of the huge saturation value um, intensity and the saturation itself so I could dial it down make it more gray if I wanted to so I can change that really quickly without having to redo all my stuff it's very cool click OK boom and it's applied so that's very good but um, also, I saw this feature, and I haven't tried this yet, so we're gonna try it. Um, I've got quite an elaborate pattern going on on this part, so I'm gonna just alt-click that um, so it's activated, and we're gonna see what we can do from this part. So, this is gonna be very interesting to see if I can isolate this red color, which shouldn't be a problem. So I know here, globally, I could change all of these. But um, I might want to pick a color in here to actually make this work. So what I can do... Okay, so to isolate this color, uh, what we can do is we can drag this across and pick a color. So I'm gonna pick this red. So I selected that. What's gonna happen by default now is everything else is going to become masked. So I should be able to change this and I can change that. Now it's changing the end part as well, which maybe I don't want. So let me just set this value on zero here. And let's go and pick you. and see if I can change this. Let me inverse the mask. Inversing of the mask. So now I'm gonna change this, which is not affecting that. So let me turn that off. And there we go. And I can change that back piece there and I can inverse it and change that but I'm changing this as well which I don't want to do so let me mask Let me just reset it. Okay, let's mask that. So if I select that piece there, it's gonna mask everything. Let's mask the bottom. Let's mask everything but the red. Oh, the background. So I've also got a tolerance here. Let's see what happens if I bring this tolerance down okay so you can feed into that and push across which is very cool okay so so I've changed that to a nice greeny color in there which looks good and I might want to change this one here okay but I want to change that tolerance down so it's not affecting the brown that's good and now I've got control over that piece in there. So I can make a global change to that. 
let's turn that one back off so I could overwrite that click OK and boom let's change that so that's pretty cool but what's, how's it going to react to maybe flesh tones let's see so I'm just going to press the alt on here and I'm going to go into adjust color let's uh, bring her head up let's target her lips okay so it's masking everything let's bring this tolerance right down well not bad let's try two Try four. Let's try five. So I'm really trying to push this to see where it breaks. Okay. So it's fairly close, but maybe I can just choose a better color in here. Okay, so we definitely got some limitations here. So I can blur that mask. Inverse it. And if I go changing this, it's going to change that as well. So I think okay, not bad. Tint sliders better. Okay, so I'm picking a tint here, and you can just override it on there. Let's just click OK. I wonder what happened. Can I mask in here? I can I mask in here? All right, let's just click OK. See what we got. That's not bad. So change the whole eye color. Of course, you know, I can set a history undo to paint that back over. So let's just see if I go back one. And mask her eyes. See if it will take into account the eye. on a tint I'm gonna click okay so it's taken into account the mask that I've applied by putting mask on there let's click OK this time so definitely better definitely a change so you can really hone in on this you can use a bit of hand masking and you can apply that to the adjustment colors as well now I'm sure there's more things I can do with this um, but these are all pretty evident what's going on you can hide the material just so that you've got a thing you can hide the mask hide the color and you can pick these tolerances and really target down on things so it's actually quite powerful and definitely a use for that so this is a great new feature that ZBrush has introduced here and you're also going to see inside here we have uh, poly paint from poly groups um, from draft from thickness so these are other things that I need to talk about but this is just color is definitely a fabulous feature to ZBrush 2020.
Okay, so I hope you've liked this little tutorial on adjusting the colors in ZBrush 2020.